G'day, I'm Sheepy and I'm back. Well, it only seems like yesterday that the Olympics were on. And now they're on again in China. Now, as you can see from my body, I was a pretty good athlete myself in my younger days. Now, these Chinese are pretty sneaky because they'll do anything to win the medals for themselves. Now, they've gone to all that trouble to pollute all the air in their competing area. Now, obviously, all the local athletes are used to breathing that foul, polluted air. So this gives them a huge hometown advantage against all the other countries. So I'm going to give some tips to my fellow Australian athletes out there to give them a little help against these sneaky Chinese tactics. Here we go. In all the running races, hold onto the shirts of the leading runner in front of you so you can find your way in the race. Running in the polluted fog is no easy task, but this will at least give you a chance. Now, if you're lucky enough to be able to see the finish line, just overtake the one in front of you near the end. Now for those pole vaulters out there, you'll have your work cut out for you because you'll be flying high in the clouds of pollution. So my tip is just to throw your stick behind you and walk under the height pole. No one's going to see you anyway. And just hold your hands up on the other side. Now if you're into playing hockey, take some extra balls with you because you're bound to lose heaps. White balls and white polluted fog just don't mix. Anyway, I think you're getting the picture now. Any country that has conditions so bad that people can't even see through the air they need to breathe should never be hosting anything except a clean air policy. How can all those poor buggers living over there breathe in their own country, let alone all the athletes competing there? It's a poor state of the way the world is going, don't you think? China should just pull the plug and close everything down until everyone can at least catch their breath and then keep all the major polluters closed until they can prove a zero emissions policy. Anyway, I'm going again, so bye till next time. But I'll be back.